Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we've got the annual Mega Bundle over on Unity. Point blank, this is the best deal Unity developers get all year long. It might be biannual, so it might be all half a year long. But anyways, the Mega Bundle is a huge collection of Unity assets, and if you get into the top tier, you're saving 95%. If you buy in the bottom tier, you're basically getting ripped off. In the medium tier, well, we will see. So what we've got here, three tiers, $14.99, $29.99, and $39.99. Uh, there are 20 days remaining in this bundle, and over that 20 days, I will do a series of follow-up videos on the most interesting assets. So if you see something in here and you want to cover it or you want me to cover it uh, do let me know all right let's jump in we'll take a look first at the $14.99 tier and here you're getting umbra the boundary builder um so pretty straightforward add notes to your scenes that turn into boundaries with a few clicks uh handy for creating nav meshes and so on it's regular 15 bucks like i said the the first tier isn't really that special by the way every tier you buy beyond that you get every other tier so if you buy the 39.99 you're getting every single thing you're seeing today next up we have the loading screen studio um easily create uh good looking and smooth loading uh screen systems with the loading screen studio everything you need in, in, is included easy to use fully editable customizable and and documented so if you need to create loading screens uh, you've got something here for doing it we've got the runtime transforms gizmos uh the Runtime Trade is a scripting API which allows you to easily incorporate transforms and gizmos at runtime in game. So if you actually need to have these gizmos in your game itself, maybe you're making a world building or a sim style game, uh, you can do so. And then we have Swarm of Bats, a particle effect of Swarm of Bats. The swarm is fully 3D, each bat has a texture sheet animation and audio is included. So if you want to add bats to your game, you can do so. Like I said, the first tier isn't really that magical. There's no real reason to pick that one up on its own. Uh, so now we're moving on to $29.99. And this is where it starts to definitely get better with some more interesting stuff. Uh, first, we have Dungeon Maker. It's a design tool for generating random levels. It will allow you to create visually unique and beautifully designed levels without sacrificing procedural generation. Now, the name implies it's for dungeons only, and that was the original idea, but it can be applied to any type of game. Great adaptivity, ad ad adaptability is mainly due to its powerful and intuitive flexible node editor. Uh, this is kind of an interesting one. It may be one worth checking out in the future. Uh, so it's basically a level generator for you for creating procedural levels. Uh, next up, we have the simple waypoint system. Uh, so you can use splines, bezier curves, and nav meshes for uh, moving around. Uh, used by thousand developers, simple waypoint system allows you to create paths uh, right within the editor, then tell the game object to follow your path via movement scripts. Pretty straightforward, so if you've got pathfinding in your world, uh, you can set them using a variety of scripts for the algorithm, so closed loops, ping-ponging random around, uh, looping paths, and so on. Next up, we have the Jujube Jujube uh, map editor. It's a block-based map editor uh, for 3D style games, so if you're doing that whole uh, voxel ish thing, um, you, you've got a, a map editor specifically for that style of game. It uh, could be an interesting one to cover. Let me know what you think. Next up, we have Fog Volume 3. Uh, it's a volumetric fog renderer designed to model a wide range of atmospheric, effect, atmospheric effects. Offers a great deal of control to help you tune uh, your needs in both look and performance. So, uh, yeah, if you want to create a volumetric fog in your world, handy little asset for that. Um, next up, we have Vert Paint. Uh, this actually is pretty cheap, but it's actually kind of cool. Simple tool for painting vertex colors onto meshes in your scene. You can paint, erase, modify, fill, and invert the vertex color of a mesh with intuitive controls, good performance. Vert Paint window includes tool tips for all the settings as well as detailed help section. Uh, isn't just for raw vertex color. Utility also ships a nice set of custom vertex color blending shaders. Uh, they vary from simple two-way blends to complex height-based. Uh, so vertex paintings in there and that then is the end of the $29.99 and now we move on to $39.99 now do remember once again if you spend $39.99 you get $29.99 and $14.99 so this is a la carte not no sorry not a la carte all you can eat so this one here you get everything we've seen here this one you get this one and that one and this one you just kind of got screwed all right, so here, $39.99 this is where the uh, the action is uh, here we've got Terra World uh, Pro. So this is 
uh, a Unity plugin to create close to reality environments using real time data from ESRI, NASA, and Open Street Maps, along with a built in algorithm for procedural generation and placement of 3D assets in the scene. So, if you want to create levels based off of real world data, uh, this could be for you. Um, and then there's some additional tools. Obviously, you can use real world data, but you don't need to use real world graphics. As you can see, basically, you can recreate Minecraft using the GIS information for your local neighborhood. Uh, interesting one for sure. Let me know if that one's one you're interested in. I uh, we got Grab It, the physics transform tool. Uh, so it's physics based movement and placement in the world. So, uh, you, you know, you add something in and then drop it down and it'll like collide with the nearest thing. It makes it easier to place things in. in you know, also apparently it makes it really fun. Um, it, it, it's an interesting concept. It makes it easier to move things around in the world. I may turn this one on in another demonstration so you can see it in action. Uh, next up, we have the medieval village environment. At this point in time, I should mention uh, you can use these assets in other game engines, uh, but there's not a lot of assets in this particular bundle that are just pure raw 3D assets. Kind of interesting that way. Uh, this one's pretty nice. It's a collection of the assets you need to build a, um, a medieval environment, including 11 prefabs of existing building exteriors, 51 different prefabs of environmental prop, 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 props, 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 uh, six different uh, prefab boulders, uh, four stones, 13 trees, uh, six pines, uh, four shrubs, uh, 17 ground materials, several particles. Ha! That word wasn't there. Uh, so we got the def, um, the mesh deformation full collection. Uh, a complete collection of mesh modifiers, shaders, real-time editors, and mesh tools in Unity Engine. Actual version of this package is V15. It's ready for Unity 2019, 2020, and 2021. Uh, this actually, I saw some of these in action. They actually look kind of cool. Uh, I didn't mean to, I don't want documentation. I want the show off one. Here we go. So you can see some of the deformations you can do on meshes. So um, it gives you some new uh, modeling and warping tools. Uh, kind of allows you to create a, an interesting environment. Let me know if you want me to check that one out. It's definitely an interesting looking tool. Next up, we have imposters. Runtime optimization. Uh, runtime optimization tool is a tool that creates imposters or billboards for distant objects and highly reduces triangles and draw counts. Uh, so basically, instead, so you got this scene here with 1.2 million triangles, uh, and it just kind of got rid of the complexity out. I, I, Okay, these, these highlights make absolutely no sense. But basically, it's a way of taking the uh, background and rendering it down into basically kind of like an image that can be superimposed onto a triangle or a billboard, uh, which is a sprite that is always aligned with the player. So here you can see you went from having this model to having it projected. Uh, so it gives you the ability to really save on performance. Uh, next up, we have the Advanced Train Grass, uh, grass rendering solution uh, built to replace the detailed rendering system of Unity's train engine in order to get rid of all the spikes on the, on the CPU caused by new grass patches coming into sight when your camera is moving. So basically, it supports the U ERP, or the Universal Render Pipeline. Um, so yeah, if you need to uh, replace the grass for something a little bit more performant, that is what Advanced Train Grass is all about. And then we got the Techni Collider Creator, um, lets you quickly create accurate colliders for the most awkwardly shaped objects. Uh, so if you've got weird things in the world, basically it creates uh, collision colliders for you, uh, especially weird shaped objects, which is nice. And then we got the full screen editor. I always like this stuff that makes the editing environment more, more pleasant to work with. Uh, so want to play your game in full screen without building it? Want to edit your scene in full screen? Now you can. Uh, it's got multi-screen uh, support. So uh, simply press the shortcut to a full screen window or close it. The defaults are F9 for any focus view, F10 for game view, F11 scene view, F12 for main view. I actually like this because I want to take screenshots all the time. But in order to get a screenshot, I have to do a build. Now you can actually, so if I want to just have this window zoom out, I can do so. Kind of an interesting one. Uh, so we got the asset usage finder. Uh, so uh, I believe this is for finding assets and how much you use them. It's kind of 
is what it says on the tin. I do think this functionality is sort of being built in though now with their new uh, universal search. I'd be interested to find out if this has kind of become a little bit redundant. Uh, then we got U Context Pro. Again, I love these things that change the way the editor work, make the editing experience better. Like in the last Mega Bundle, there was things like Peak. Uh, and this is another one of those things. So see, uh, 40 useful tools for everyone in one asset. Uh, so you've got things like uh, universal context menus, bookmarks, smart search. Again, this is kind of being built in now. Uh, distance tool uh, and, and so are, what am I looking at? So it's a, it's a series of new contextual tools being added to the Unity menu or the Unity editors. Uh, definitely, again, something I really like. I, I feel bad for these guys when some of the stuff that they do is being replaced by new functionality, but a lot of times you still the add-ons do it a little bit better than Unity does. And then we got the sci-fi effects. Uh, pretty straightforward. This one is a series of uh, particle effects, uh, sci-fi things, explosions, laser blades, and the laser laser blasts, not blades. Uh, so large collection of 90 plus effects, including weapons, explosions, missiles, dissolves, blast waves, holograph, uh, ho holographic, I don't think that works on its own. Uh, warp nebula turrets to fit many different sci-fi situations. Uh, so that's definitely nice. Uh, tested with the uh, standard renderer, the LURP, uh, the, uh, the ERP, and uh, so everything but the HDRP is tested at this point in time, it seems. And then we have Task Atlas. And this one will automatically finish your game for you. You press the button and your game is complete. Actually, I'm lying. Uh, turn your scene into an interactive atlas that keeps track of all of your tasks in view. Uh, 2D, 3D, sticky tasks, bookmarks, time tracking, and more. So basically, it is a time management tool uh, inside of Unity. That's interesting. I wonder how well it works. Maybe I will check that one out. Again, let me know which ones you're most interested in. And then we got the Mantis LOD, or Level of Detail Editor, Professional Edition. So it's pretty straightforward. It's for creating LOD meshes. So here you can see, this was the original at 7600, 3800. 1900 so you know for if you're doing mobile games and you need to drop your polygon count down or you just got something that's really far away from the camera no sense rendering it really high the lod editor is a program a polygon reduction tool set including an editor extension command line tool standalone app and a progressive map generator and a progressive map runtime uh so nice set of tools for dealing with lod's in unity and then we got dream os or dream os is a complete operating system ui so if you want to create applications using Unity, uh, this could be a nice tool for you. It's a complete UI pack for Unity. allows you to create stunning in-game operating system user interfaces, everything you see in the package and fully customizable. Uh, render pipeline compatibility. So it has built-in ERP and HDRP. Uh, so it works with everything. So if you need to create uh, either an operating system in your game, so you could have like a fake OS experience inside of your game, or you're creating kind of an application. So here, basically, it's a fake OS UI toolkit. Kind of an interesting one there. Um, yeah. And then we've got probably one of the more interesting ones here is we got Tyrol World Creator. It's There's a lot of map creation tools here. There's actually a lot of generalized usable tools in here. But you can create stunning islands or dungeons for your game quickly. Uh, game or quickly build a level uh, for your prototype. Tile World Creator is very easy to use and you can generate your maps randomly in editor or at runtime. Paint or modify your maps in the Unity Scene Editor or use the Runtime Editor to paint maps at runtime. Just drag the Tile World Creator prefab to your scene and you are ready to go. So there's four different algorithms, five high quality tile presets and so on. So this one is neat. It's definitely, it's, it's a map generator. Seems to be a combination of uh, procedural and painting. I think this is the one that I find probably the most interesting here and probably the one that I'm going to cover the first in a follow-up video. But let me know if you are interested. If you guys aren't interested in Tile World Creator at all, maybe I'll skip it, but I doubt it because I, I actually am personally most interested in seeing how this one works out. So I think we're at the end. Yeah, so that is the end of the Mega Bundles. Like I said, they've got 19 and a half days left to get this one by the time the video is published. Uh, this first tier is bad. It's, there's no real other way to put it. Not to say that the assets in it are bad, but you're, you're not looking at huge savings. But, you know, really, if, if you wanted the Runtime Transform Gizmos plugin, you're getting it for half price and everything else for free. But otherwise, you're basically buying these three assets at full price. It's not a really a great tier unless this one is doing it for you. But then we jump up. Obviously, this tier gets this tier included. So for that jump, 
it gets a little bit better. And here we have a map editor at this point in time, and then another map editor or level creator, and a procedural fog tool. There's some really cool and powerful tools in this collection, but realistically, this isn't an amazing deal at this point. It's when you jump to the $39.99. That's where you're getting a ton of assets, some of the nicest assets in here, such as Terra World, uh, the Mesh Deform Toolkit, the uh, Collider Creator, the Full Screen Editor, the Context Pro, uh, Task Management System, uh, the Dream OS UI Toolkit, the Tile World Creator, and so on, plus everything else. They've really set these bundles up so that this is the only one that's like really a good deal. Like, it, no, they're all good deals if there's something individually you want in there, but the no-brainer deal is definitely at this tier where you get, you know, you get twice as many assets in this individual tier, and then you're getting all of the other assets. So uh, they, they've definitely stacked the top tier in this bundle is what I'm trying to say. But I'm, I'm actually kind of impressed by what they put in here. It, it's unfortunate for non-Unity developers, but this is a Unity sale, so there really isn't for you for the most part. But there's not a lot of straight content things here, asset packs and that kind of stuff. Really, there's just the medieval village environment. That gonna be it. Wow. Uh, but otherwise, we got a lot of system stuff here. We've got ways to, you know, uh, add gizmos into your uh, game applications. We've got a number of different map and or procedural level creation tools in here. Four or five of them, actually, at this point in time. Um, things for extending the editor itself, task management, UI toolkits. There's a decent collection of things here for making Unity more pleasant to work with. Now, if you've got a personal experience with anything on this list, please do let me know uh, what you think of it in the comments down below. And again, to everyone out there, let me know what uh, bundles, you, what items in this bundle you want to see me cover. I, I pick it up, obviously. I always do that to let you know what you're going to get. Let me know which ones you're most interested in. I think at first glance, the ones that I find the most interesting are this one, this one, maybe throw this one in an existing video, this one, this one, maybe throw this in an existing video, maybe this one, and definitely Tile World Creator. Those are the ones that really jump out at me, but again, I think I have this thing for level editors. Uh, but let me know what you think of this bundle, what you want to see covered, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.